Hi, uh, my name is Deepak Gadia and uh, I am the chairman of the biogas company called MSA Bioenergy Private Limited and I am also a trustee in the NGO Munisiva Ashram and I also was the founding chairman of Indian Biogas Association. Well, I think uh, renewable energy is the way forward. I have been very fortunate that I have been working in the field of renewable for the last 35 years and I got my name, fame and money in Cholar. But I am convinced that biogas is the future because it is one of the two technologies which can offer 24 times 7 power and it's not just about energy in biogas but it is also able to give you organic fertilizer and it also takes care of the waste so it's a win-win situation where you dispose the waste where you get energy clean energy and at the same time you're getting organic fertilizer but for me the most important part of biogas is that it is a technology which can help the rural area where 70 percent of our indian population resides uh, at present uh, the government approach has been that it is encouraging uh, biogas in a very large scale uh, with a scheme called satar which i think is quite important because it will it has shown that biogas is just not a rural technology where you can get cooking gas but you can get also large quantity of uh, gas which can be also converted to cng or cbg but for me i still think understanding and new science of understanding biogas that is just not an anaerobic digestion but it is also about uh, it's like a small chemical reactor where you can control temperature where you can control flow you can control <coughs> ph uh, so with iot of things the biogas technology will become so perfect that it can be stand alone uh, handling will become easier because at present uh, handling is a big challenge also every time a different raw material is a challenge but all this will be taken care of by the iot and it would become a very clean easy to operate, easy to run, and uh, technology which is spread at all levels, from household to community to the national level. That is, as a whole, pandemic has uh, created a big uh, breakdown uh, because the manpower is not available. In biogas especially, the biggest challenge is always availability of raw material. And uh, because of lockdowns and because of uh, villagers not allowed to travel, they are, not able to, they are not able to get access to raw material and also uh, the logistic of going for bio CGB, CBG, that is complex, complex biogas plant, has also been disturbed. So, a lot of projects which were coming up on which were planned, Indian government had planned about 5,000 biogas plants uh, or based on compressed, compressed biogas plant or bio CAG plant. I think not many have come up because of uh, the financial closure, because of tie up with uh, uh, raw material suppliers, and also uh, tie up with uh, oil uh, uh, companies where there is assured. Uh, purchase of uh, uh, CNG and also uh, I think what needs is that also there should be a policy for support of uh, uh, organic fertilizer which is also a byproduct of biogas plant. So only if that is done will the country really see biogas technology spreading and becoming economically viable and feasible. Thank, and thank you. you for the IBID. Thank you.